Hi, this is Colin with Maker Farm. This video we're going to do the x-axis of the TiVo Tarantula. To start you're going to need to get some of your previously built parts. First one is the x-motor assembly. Next one is the x-carriage. We're going to need the whole frame. We're going to need the last 20 by 40 extrusion and we're going to need our x-idler along with our tool bag. To start we're going to get the x-carriage and go ahead and slide it on the extrusion as shown in the video. We're going to check to see if it's loose or not. If it is loose you can tighten the eccentric spacers or if it's too tight you can loosen those as well. Adjust both of those until you get a nice fit. Next we're going to fit the X idler. Go ahead and slide it on the end extrusion. Then we're going to go ahead and adjust those eccentric spacers as needed until it moves freely but doesn't have any play. And then do the same thing on the left side with your X motor. Alright, you're going to notice the motor is in the front of the machine. So now we're going to take our last extrusion piece. We're going to turn the T-nuts so that they will align with the extrusion on both the X-motor and the X-idler. And then the hot end is going to go towards the Y-idler. And the extrusion is going to be on the back side, closest to the Y-motor. Go ahead, hold it up there. Make sure that the extrusion doesn't interfere with the idlers for the belt on the X idler side or the X motor side and then go ahead hold it tight and tighten those bolts down so that the T-nuts will lock in place then go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other side on the X motor assembly. Next make sure the X assembly moves up and down freely and the X carriage moves right to left freely. When you move the X carriage all the way to the right side when looking from behind the machine, you're going to see the end stop will hit that acrylic piece. Of course, in this video, that end stop is backwards. The metal flag should be up towards the hot end side. Now we're going to hook up the X belt. So go ahead and get the bag with the remaining belt and zip ties. Just as we did the Y belt, for this one, we're going to use these holes on the X carriage. The teeth on the belt are going to be facing down. And then we're going to zip tie them together. We're going to loop the belt around the idlers. It's going to go through the center of the extrusion we just installed, back up around the gear for the motor, the idler, and then back to the X carriage. If you have a hard time getting the belt through the center of the extrusion, you can use something like the slot covers in the very bottom of your kit.